Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these long autumn leaves earrings. They are easy to make, they are like a beginner's level tutorial, so I'm sure even if you have never beaded before, you will be able to make them. I'm also using really simple stuff, only seed beads and regular earring findings and you could find them in any beading store. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I will post new content usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. If you're not new here, you could definitely skip this intro and go to the work itself, but I have just a few words to say. Down there in the description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. You don't know how much you help me. Only with this action you could also check my second channel with the fast clips if you want, also link in description. By the way, you could check similar content to this one but just a little bit more complicated here at this corner. Thank you for watching, I'm starting with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 5 colors of 11 ounce seed beads or you could use 10 ounce seed beads if you want. Here I'm using earring findings in this copper color. Here I use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. Don't use so soft nylon thread for this work. And here I'm using size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. And I'm taking six of these beautiful brown beads. Okay, I have six beads here. And what I'm doing is that I'm sliding those down like this. And I'm going to take my earring finding and I'm going through it. Okay, now I have six plus my earring finding. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and then I pull and what I do next is that I make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay. Now what I want to do guys in my next step is go through some beads in this direction. Okay. And I will go here through this bead and I will start my work. Okay, you see where I'm exiting. And now guys, what I'm going to pick up are 25 beads and I will pick them from this brown color. Okay, I will pick up 25. Okay guys and here I have 25 beads 5 times 5 and what I want to do is slide all of those down. Now in my next step what I'm going to pick up are again two brown beads but after that two red beads then one dark bead, dark orange bead, one light orange bead and one yellow bead. Okay, this is what I take on my needle and I'm going to slide all of those beads down just like this. Now I'm going to skip the yellow bead and go through the light orange bead with my thread, with my needle and my thread. Okay. Now I'm exiting out of this light orange bead and I will take a dark orange, two reds and two brown beads. Okay, this is what I have. Then I will skip this bead, these two first 
brown beads and I will go through the third brown bead you see what I what I do let me focus skipping those two brown beads and going through the third with this sequence of beads okay and I pull pull tight and now guys I have this in my next step I'm going through the following three beads just like that and now what I'm going to do next is take the following sequence I need six brown beads okay I have six brown beads slide all of those down okay then I need two red beads one dark orange one light orange and one yellow okay this is what i have slide all of those down now i'm going to skip the yellow and go through the orange just like this And in my next step, I need dark orange, two reds, and two browns. Okay, as I'm exiting here after the light orange bead, I'm going here, skipping these two brown beads, I'm going through the third brown from here. You see what I have? and what i do next is that i pull okay now i have this and i'm going through these three beads in this direction and now what i want to do next is go through four beads like this now i'm going to do absolutely the same thing as i did here i'm going to take six brown beads okay i have my six then two reds one dark brown uh, one dark orange one light orange and one yellow Okay, this is what I have. Slide it down. Then skip the yellow and go through the orange. Like this. And then a dark orange. Two reds and two browns. Okay. And then I skip these first two browns and go through the following. Okay. Then I go through these three beads in this direction. And I want to go through the following four beads. Okay, now I have this. Okay, and I'm going to repeat the same thing here. I'm going to take six brown beads, two reds, one dark orange, one light orange, and one yellow. Slide all of those down. Skip the light, skip the yellow and go through the light orange then take dark orange two reds and two browns skip the first two browns and go through the third brown bead here okay 
go through these three beads in this direction. Pull tight and then go through the next three beads like this. And I'm going to repeat this whole thing three more times. Here is one, then I will go through four and uh, make two. And here is two, and from here on through four beads and I will make the third. And here is where I did my last one and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in total. And now what I could do additionally here is go in this direction one more time. I might want to reinforce this joint here at the top. I mean the earring finding. And you could do it several times if you want. And when you're ready, just go here somewhere, maybe at the edge, maybe at some of the leaves, of the autumn leaves. And choose a place to make a knot, let's say here. And I'm making my knot by making a loop going once, going second time through this loop I've made. Then I could repeat this knot several times until I feel everything is nice, tight and secure. And when I'm ready, I'm cutting my thread. And with this, my autumn leaves earrings are ready. Okay guys, and now my fine autumn leaves earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button because in this way you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. And down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on Facebook or Instagram. I will be so happy to see your creations and thank to all of you that like, share and comment. You don't know how much you help me only with this action. Thank you so much. If you want, you could check my second channel with the fast clips as well. So that was all for me. Bye bye.